so the boys and I are on vacation. We decided, to, where'd we head to, Ty? Virginia! Yep, we went to Virginia, which was perfect because right before we left for our trip, we watched a show called John Carter, and his nickname was Virginia because he was from Virginia, and that was a fun show to watch right before our trip. And now we're in Virginia, but it's just me and the boys. So David and the girls went to Africa for a humanitarian project and I thought this would be a good time to meet up with some family and go on an adventure of our own. So we're going to hike some trails here in Virginia. We're now at Shenandoah Park. Is this fun? Mm -hmm. Check this out guys. This is so beautiful here. It's so green and pretty. We've been hiking for a while. We're hiking all downhill so that means we have to go back uphill soon. That's gonna be fun. What do you think, Jake? You like uh, my going legs are gonna hurt. Going up? Yep, and down. Yeah. Starting kind still. Of a rocky trail. It's steep down, isn't it? Steep and rocky. Hey, but I think we made it to the waterfall. Oh, yay. Guys, check it out. We made it to the waterfall. This is so pretty. I love it. Go clear up. Wow, and it's so green here and just peaceful. We made it back to the cabin after hiking to the waterfall and back up, which was beautiful. And then it started to rain. And so we decided to end it and go back to the cabin. Then we need to get groceries. Now we're back here, but anyway, we're going to have a bonfire tonight and roast some marshmallows and probably cook our dinner over the fire because the boys are super excited about this. And then call it a day. Okay, it looks like the boys got the fire going, so it looks like we will be having hot dogs and marshmallows s'mores tonight. Are you guys Woo! excited? Yeah. yeah! Look at that fire. They did a good job. That's awesome. So I it's hot dog time! I think mine's done, is it? It depends on how cooked you want it. I want, I want cook more perfect. until all the moisture's out. Oh. That would be burnt. Did you just get burnt? Are you burning your hot dog pie? <laughs> no, that's Jake's right there. I mine? keep mine spinning so it's all evenly cooked. Oh, how am I supposed to keep mine spinning? I just need to get one last side. Ty's is challenging because his sticks like oh, mine's burnt. curved. So it's really mine's hard. Mine's a little bit curved. Mom, your stick is straight. Yeah, mine. I've got a good stick. But they're doing it, they're getting their dinner cooked. Okay guys, what are you doing? Picking marshmallows. How was your hot dogs? Good. Okay. You did a good job on the hot dogs? What yeah. about your s'mores? Are you uh, or your this marshmallows? This uh, four. <laughs> what happened to the others? They're, they're in the fire right there. Okay, <laughs> the boys are cooking their marshmallows and they keep falling in the fire, so I have to come out here and uh, make sure they actually end up with a marshmallow in their mouth. He's touching her hand. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's gooping. My scooping. <laughs> Don't let it melt off. Just cook it till it's tan and then it's it'll be sick. good. You getting smoke all over? Yep. I can oh, do it. Oh. <laughs> okay, here's my marshmallows, nice and beautiful, and there's Jake's. Nice and droopy <laughs> and crazy. What happens to your marshmallows? Every single time this happens. I have no clue. Did I get another defective too? Okay, so we've been hiking down through the, near the Appalachian Trail. I think we've hit some of the Appalachian Trail. Anyway, we went to President Hoover's camp from back in the day, 1930s, I believe. Pretty cool, long hike. Um, we just had lunch and kind of explored the cabins. They weren't open, so we couldn't see them, so they're just brown cabins. But it's nice to see the retreat. That's where we're at now. There's some rock feature there. I'm not sure what it is. And then a bunch of cabins and remains of old campsites. But now that we've explored, we're trying to find our way back out. <laughs> okay, so this fireplace this outdoor fireplace is in the campsite president hoover's campsite this is where the president and the presidential aides would come for photographs 
apparently this fireplace was not used very often, but it was used for photographs. So they would sit on some benches in front of the fireplace and take those picturistic um, pictures from this campground to show the people. Now up here is actually the brown house, which is President Hoover's house that he stayed at, his cabin. But unfortunately, it's all locked up. We can't go inside. So that's it. <laughs> And then there would be other visitor cabins, um, his um, guard, his secret service, they'd have their cabin, his presidential aides, they'd have cabins. So there's several cabins around here that look like that, but they're all locked up so we can't go inside them. But it is a beautiful area, like it's all just covered in green. Apparently back in the day there was even more trees, but the trees got destroyed. And this used to be very shaded canopy all over here with all the trees, which it still kind of is. But it's a nice getaway with the river. He could go fishing and get away from the city. So it's a beautiful area. This is the remnants of the mess hall. Not much left there. It's just a mess. <laughs> that was a good one, Ty. Okay, so this cabin was actually occupied by President Hoover's two chief aides stayed in this cabin. And it's a little ways up from the other cabin where President Hoover stayed. So to get here, it was about a two mile hike downhill. Um, it's all shaded, but now we have to hike two miles uphill to get out of here. There's a bunny. Rabbits lead and tie on the chase down the path. Oh, and I scared him. No, Ty, you're gonna get ticks. Did I scare him off the path? He was taking you down the path, wasn't he? Did you want to catch him? He's eating the weeds. Yep, there he goes. He's off in the trees. That was pretty cool, huh? We made it the two mile hike out uphill. It actually wasn't so bad. I thought it was going to be bad. The first um, mile was a little harder than the last because it was a little steeper, but the rest had a nice incline that was a little more gradual, so it wasn't so bad. But I think we're done. I think we'll head back to the cabin now and maybe get some dinner and do campfire and some marshmallows because the boys have been liking doing that every night. We've been here for a couple days now and they love starting fires and making marshmallows, right? And I got supplies. Yes. And Jake collected supplies along our hike so he can make a fire with like small little kindling. So that's, I think that's what our plan will be for the evening. What, Ty? There's some right oh, here. Yep, rock. you're right. Check out that view. Wow. Alrighty, so we are on the Larray Cavern Tours here in Virginia. What do you think? It's amazing. It's yeah. huge. huge. It's a huge cave. Yeah, this is wow. It's immense. What do you think, Ty? 
not as cool as my other one, but it's still pretty cool. This is cool. It's like a whole lot of stalagmites. Does this look cool? Stag yeah. I know you. <laughs> This cave is pretty cool, guys. It's massive. It's probably the biggest stalactite, stalagmite cave that I've been in. This is amazing. Just reflecting. So we like. So that's a reflection. Yeah, it's not very deep. It's amazing, huh, Jake? Mm -hmm. It's a ton of allergy. This is a pretty cool cave. A lot to take in and see. Okay, see the light shines through, so it's like bacon. But then back there, there's another one. It's like his stomach right there. Ty's tall. Really tall. <laughs> let's see, let's try Jake. Oh, Jake's tall. Jake's a Here. tall dude, man. There, now it looks normal. Oh, my arms. Don't move my arms. <laughs> oh, creepy. Alrighty, it's the last night of our vacation here in Virginia, so we are just getting ready for dinner. So we're cooking up some chicken skewers. And then after dinner, I think we're going to do some s'mores. One last fire. We've been building a lot of fires every night. That's what the boys have been wanting to do, so we've cooked a lot of s'mores, had a lot of fun, went cave exploring, um, we've done a lot of hiking. Climbed top of mountains, seen waterfalls, seen a lot of neat wildlife. Uh, we went kayaking, <clears throat> played some miniature golf. We've done a lot of really fun things on this trip. We didn't record all of it because a lot of it we were just enjoying and not really filming. But now we have to fly back home tomorrow. So it's a little bit sad, but also good because it's always good to get back home to your comforts. And this vacation is coming to an end, unfortunately, but we'll be able to see David and the girls soon, which will be exciting. So, last night! Okay, guys, it's the last night, and the boys are learning how to start fires in a different way than before. So this is with a stick. Is it very hard, Ty? Yes, I'm about to miss it. Oh, oh, oh. You're doing good. Okay, so their uncle has been actually teaching them many different uh, ways to start fire while we've been on this trip and he actually has started fire with a stick and a stick. So just using a stick, he started fire and it probably only took him a couple minutes. Pretty pro, yeah. So now he's teaching the boys how to do it but it is very hard, it requires a lot of muscle work <laughs> and technique. So I think the boys will probably keep practicing this one. But that's how we're going to start our fire tonight for s'mores. Okay. Look at that guys. Fire is starting from the stick. It's crazy. What do you think boys? I think we're gonna have a fire. I think we are too. Mm -hmm. Your uncle's pro, huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so every night we've been enjoying these lightning bugs when we do our fire pits and they're everywhere. I'm gonna try to catch them on camera to show you because this is our first time like this trip seeing the lightning bugs which is pretty cool the little sparkling in the fields lightning bugs it's like a field of magic they just light up everywhere so pretty
So the forest and all the fields around here come alive as it gets nighttime, as all these lightning bugs come out. And they create the most pretty scenery ever as you look out across these fields of all these little sparkles. It's like little fairies almost, sparkly little fairies everywhere in the fields. It's so pretty. It's amazing. I love it. We're so lucky we got to see these finally. We got the s'mores. What do you say? And the marshmallows. Is that pretty good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How many times did you cook s'mores on this trip? I can't even count. <laughs> How about you, Ty? Every you... day, probably. Yeah, we ate a lot of s'mores and marshmallows. The bad thing right now is it's raining. It is raining, so we have to hurry, huh? Mm -hmm. But they got fire. Mm-hmm.